This is what your car sounds like with a broken timing belt when you try to start the engine. It has no compression, it spins fast. Now here's what a car sounds like that does have a good timing belt and therefore good compression. Listen for the pattern. Can you tell the difference when you hear the compression happening? It's like a da 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 instead of a woo. I'm a storyteller and here's the story behind this timing belt failure with some visuals to go along and help you to see what happened. <laughs> Life isn't easy and it's easy for people to say that because it's not. It seems like just when you have all your stuff together and your ducks in a row something goes wrong. That happened to my brother-in-law recently as his timing belt broke. It never got changed. He's at 120,000 miles. A little Mitsubishi uh, with the 2.0 liter non-turbo. Um, so I'm going to help him, but as luck would have it, I don't have all my ducks in a row either. It looks like I'm carrying an invisible purse because I tore my uh, supraspinatus muscle. That's the muscle that goes through the bones and down the side. I crashed on a motorcycle because I was... <sighs> Pride goeth before a fall. I'm riding with guys that ride a lot better than me. I was trying to keep up and trying to film, make some fun videos. And uh, yeah, hit a log, got ejected, doing about as fast as a bike would go. Landed on my shoulder, so I have an invisible purse now. How's that for some humble pie? This is what this car sounds like with a broken timing belt. After his car stalled and died in traffic, this is manual transmission, as luck would have it. So I'm going to reach over with my left hand. Here's what you got. As he described it, it was a dry electric sound. I think that's actually a pretty good description. But I might add that it just... The engine cranks over a lot faster than it normally would because there's no compression. So we're going to see, we're going to put a belt on it and we're going to see if that takes care of the issue. It might need to have the head pulled off. I offered to do this for him. I was bringing it to his attention about 60,000 miles ago. <laughs> it would have been a lot easier to do it then and cheaper and better. But it might be fine. It was a long tow though. It was like a... 80 to 100 mile tow. You want to change a timing belt before it breaks because it's the only thing that keeps your camshaft up here on the top and your crankshaft in time with each other so that your piston and your valves don't hit. So maybe I jumped the gun saying that the timing belt's broken other than if you count teeth being broken is broken. That thing's tight. I mean it's, you can play it like a fiddle. Um, but watch what happens when you go to crank it over. Now my guess, and I don't know for sure because I haven't verified it, but I've seen this enough times to know, is that this is not going to rotate. In fact, I'm going to get you around over here and zoom you in so you can see the sprocket teeth just a little. Now remember, this is a guy holding an invisible purse, eating humble pie. Uh, but I'm going to be a little prideful and say this is not going to rotate. I'm going to say that this teeth are stripped out at the crank. Was I right? Was the cam stationary? I mean, it could be we have all blown up valves. That's a possibility that that happened too, but you know why I could check without having to have a camera or review, review footage is to, there's no chance in Hades that that's going to line up exactly the same. So I'll just make a clean mark and a paint mark and see if that's exactly the same thing when I randomly, arbitrarily, crank this starter for a period of time. We'll call it X because you can't say shh in Spanish. As luck would have it, it looks like it's in exactly the same. Actually, it doesn't look like it's in exactly, but it's awfully close. It looks like it bumped and twitched a little. So I did say that it would be the teeth torn off at the crankshaft, and as we get in here, there's just not a lot of teeth once you get to the crankshaft. They're all torn off. 
Um, you can see that the water pump's got some leaking going on. You see a bunch of green and white powdery build up there. On this one, I'm tempted to just do a belt and see if the valves are bent. But either way, we'd probably do a valve job on this, so we'll just go for it and put in the water pump and timing belt and see where we're at. I've got the new timing belt in there. I use my fancy label maker. It's 123,000 miles, new water pump. Ooh, this thing is doing so much better. Here's what the sucker is supposed to sound like when you start it. Can you tell the difference when you hear the compression happening? It's like a da 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 instead of a woo. Yeah, it's a lot better. Woohoo!